Hello and welcome to The Stuffed Life. I know a lot of y'all always want to know how I maintain the Stuffed Life household and keep everything in order. So I wanted to do a nighttime kitchen routine video, how I clean it and keep it tidy and ready for my next day. Um, first, I want to always make sure all of my dishes are put away. We don't live in an updated apartment, so we don't have a dishwasher. So I don't want to leave my dishes out on the counter. I want to make sure everything's put away. That is Landon's placemat from Breeware. It's a silicone placemat. I absolutely love it and travel with it. And his two Breeware bibs. They have a pocket in the front and they're silicone and they're absolutely perfect. Um, and I've just got to put the glasses up, his little plate up. I've got a few dishes that I need to go ahead and wash. And I use Dawn dish soap because I have been using it for years and I absolutely love it. It always cuts through the grease. And when I do make some of my own DIY cleaners, I always use Dawn in them. So yeah, I just got to, you know, wash a few dishes, make sure my sink is empty before I go to bed. Um, that way, when I wake up in the morning to make breakfast for Landon and Tommy and me and Tevin, that I don't have to do it in a dirty kitchen or wash any dishes in order to cook. You know, y'all have seen how small my kitchen is. So, all right, we just got to get everything put up here. And I had some old sponges. I needed to throw those away. I only like to keep those for about two weeks. Um, after the first week, I bleach them, or sometimes more often if I need, but yeah, I like to keep my sponges fresh, and I know they grow bacteria, so fresh and dry is the key. This is Tommy's water bottle. He usually keeps water in it, or flavored water, um, so he can fill up his water bottles for work, or just so he has water throughout the day. He likes to keep this bottle. Still all the time. So right now I'm I don't have any homemade cleaners and I'm just using um, the multi-purpose scrubbing bubbles cleaner. It seems to do the job and I, I, I it works and until I run out I won't be changing. Um, I probably have a little bit less than about uh, half of the bottle left. But clean the sink and make sure no food and griminess or ickiness is left over in or around the sink. I am no professional at cleaning, so I'm sure somebody will comment on this video and say I'm not doing something correct, but this is the way that I clean my home. And if it helps motivate somebody else, if this is a motivational cleaning video for somebody else, so be it. Now I've got to clean off the stove. Um, ugh, I can't stand ugh, food on the stove, it's so gross. Um, but this is not a deep cleaning video, so I'm not taking the stove apart and, and, and washing it all. I'm just basically wiping it down. And again, I'm using the, the multi-purpose scrubbing bubbles um, cleaner to, to get this, this stove clean. It works like a charm. As you see, I had stuck on food right in the middle. It is gone. And just got to clean out the little trays and wipe them down. Put the grates back on and done. On to the next step. Now my whole nighttime kitchen routine only takes me about half an hour, tops. And I do it all. Like, I, I mean, I don't deep clean it, but I do it all. I will sweep and mop the floors, clean off the counters, put everything away. Um, this is the last of those dishes that I just finished washing, drying them and putting them up. And the 
the drying mat has to be folded and put away. Sometimes I actually go hang it outside um, on the porch because it's to air it, dry it, and clean it, clean the counter with a little bit of the scrubbing bubbles, multi-purpose cleaner, wipe off the microwave. I, like I said, I am not deep cleaning. This is not a deep cleaning routine. And so I am not cleaning out the microwave right now. I do that about once a week and it usually needs it about at least once a week, if not a little bit more. I always like to clean off the top of the trash can because I hate stuff to be on it. It's like a pet peeve of mine. I don't know. All right, this little counter over here, my fruit and vegetable basket. Again, another one of the silicone placemats for Landon. Just roll those up, keep those put away. Um, I bought a cut, cutting board at TJ Maxx that fits perfectly over two of my burners. So it gives me a little bit more counter space when I'm only using two burners. I can use that cutting board on two of them. It also works perfectly on this little rolling cabinet that I picked up at Big Lots. It straddles the cabinet perfectly and um, you can't slide it or push it off. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I'm just lucky that I found something a cutting board that fit perfectly in two different places. So this countertop is a marble countertop and um, again I'm using that Mr. Uh, or Scrubbing Bubbles all-purpose cleaner on it. It worked better than anything that I've used. Um, I had an acorn squash in there that did go bad so I had to throw that in the trash. Um, sweeping the floor I sweep, we sweep the floor several times a day. You would never guess that by seeing how much dirt. And it's really a lot. Landon throws food around, drops crumbs. I, you know, I live with a toddler and a teenage boy, so you can only imagine the stuff. Look at this, how much in one day. So, um, you gotta get the floor swept and not all the time, but most of the time, I do go ahead and sweep and mop the floor. You know, I think of it this way. Landon is forever dropping things on the floor, and he's forever putting things in his mouth. And if I can sanitize or clean the floor more often, I would. But um, I love to sanitize it with this Shark Steam Mop. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It gives you the option to use the cleaner or just and the steam or just the steam. I love to clean my floors with just the steam, but I like to have the cleaner available for when I do have those spots that need a little bit of extra. But you just pump the steam mop and the steam comes out. You can see it right here as I'm mopping the floor. I also believe that you can refill this bottle with your own cleaner and don't have to purchase additional cleaner, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to let you know in a future video, but if I can, I may go ahead and just use some vinegar and water um, as a replacement cleaner for my floors. Like I said, I don't use the cleaner all the time. I feel like the steam is good enough to clean the floors. Um, but Occasionally you need the extra cleaner and vinegar and water is a pretty safe, effective cleaner. Always got to get around the trash can. That's pretty much it. My kitchen is clean. I'm gonna put this um, steam mop away. Um, take the pad off, toss it, toss it right over into the dirty clothes, and that's it. So my kitchen is clean now, and I can go to bed knowing that when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to deal with a dirty kitchen. So I hope this motivated you to clean your kitchen and if you like this video make sure you give the thumbs up don't forget to follow us on all of our other social media channels all the links are down below and thank you for stopping by to watch my nighttime kitchen cleaning routine